Hi everybody, so today is an update on my CFT worm bin. We are June 8 or 9. And uh, yes, so I fed so far some uh, manure here. And uh, you can uh, already tell by the surface. So it's starting to, the worms have uh, started to make some uh, nice castings and there's uh, already an unfold of worm so yeah the worms uh, are loving it so this is a piece of manure cow manure they are all throughout it And see all of the worms. So yeah, so far so good. So now I'm gonna be adding another layer on top and uh, the CFT will continue. So this is what I'm going to be feeding. So this is the rest of the gloom I had. You can see some uh, mycelium growing on it. And on top I've uh, brought in some uh, cow manure and corn that has been rotting away. So I'm gonna throw that in there. All right, so I've replenished the bin, I've put a lot of material and they should have enough food for weeks, months. So now I'm gonna let them eat and hopefully it doesn't uh, eat up too much. It shouldn't really, but if it does, well they'll just go deeper where it's cooler. And I'm also going to keep the lid somewhat uh, open so that air can uh, circulate. I wanted to show you the bottom so far. The plastic uh, pipes are strong enough so far, but there's some mold growing and some weird stuff that fell down I'm not sure if it's normal or what but yeah the cardboard is starting to degrade quite a bit so that's one of the reason I decided to feed them some more so that when I come in I won't disturb the cardboard, cardboard and do a mess down here there's already some stuff falling that's because I wasn't careful and I like to to mix the stuff in the bin so yeah that's pretty much it hi everybody so this is a small update on my worm CFT bin so we are July 4th you can see I removed the wood underneath so now I'll just harvest the castings on the floor I've also brought in some light I can install underneath so that the worms don't fall out which was a problem so that's the inside of the bin I've added some uh, sticky traps and uh, I've added some cardboard. I've also started to feed some food scraps and the worms seem to be liking it. You can see the level has dropped down quite a bit. It used to be up to that nail and so it sunk down quite a lot. 
and the worms they are plentiful. So there's an onion I can lift up. You can see all of the worms. And there's also lots of uh, cocoons on the surface. And also a lot of mites. So here I fed for the first time some food scraps. And they seem to be already gone. Yep, they're pretty much gone. Oh, that's an avocado shell. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. They are loving it. There's another avocado shell. Just some very nice material. Just going to bury this. And here I fed uh, not too long ago, maybe a week ago. You can see all of the worms They're all throughout the last feeding. And they've ate so much, it's incredible. There's some onion from last year, they're not good anymore. And here I've fed uh, an apple. You can see there are some worms in it. Lots of worms underneath. And uh, since I've checked, um, I looked around and uh, most of the corn has been eaten. So you can see there's just the empty shell shells. You can see this is my last feeding from uh, two days ago, right here. And they are already getting to it. So it's really starting to ramp up the casting production and also warm reproduction. And yeah, it's very awesome. The cardboard seems to help uh, to keep the moisture in a bit. And also they tend to lay down some cocoons right underneath and I can see them. So yeah. That's my bin so far, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, the, the bedding material is just beautiful. It's just breaking down really nice. It's just awesome really. I might uh, fit it another layer to keep the bin keep fitting the bin and uh, right now I'm not worried about overfeeding they have plenty of space to go if it eats up so yeah that was my update for the 4th of July 
have a nice day.